Uh, there's one other guy here. I must admit, yesterday when I heard Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, my first reaction was, who? Rick Gates? But you were on to Rick Gates months ago. Um, uh, back in uh, June. What brought, what brought him to your attention, and what was his relationship with Manafort and with Trump? Sure. Uh, well, Rick Gates used to be uh, a campaign aide for uh, candidate Trump and helped he was basically Paul Manafort's deputy when Paul Manafort was running the show. Yeah. Um, despite the White House's and Trump's allies' hilarious attempts, mm -hmm. not just now, but ever since like the beginning of the administration, to distance themselves from Paul Manafort. To say that Paul Manafort, whoa, he was basically. Sean Spicer said a long time ago that he had little role, played right. little role. Which is He's amazing. A campaign manager. Right. Yeah. And when Paul Manafort was uh, taking the helm, particularly during the Republican convention, to sort of oversee keeping people in line so Trump would end up being the nominee and no funny business were perpetrated. Rick Gates was Paul Manafort's direct deputy when that mm -hmm. was going on. Mm -hmm. He was his right-hand man. And when Paul Manafort was ousted from the campaign, Rick Gates hung around for a while. Um, and then post-campaign, he helped out with the inaugural committee. And then he landed a sweet gig as Tom Barrack's right-hand man. Tom Barrack is one of Trump's uh, or at least was one of Trump's closest friends and outside advisors. I think he still is. Yeah. And, and well, even though there fellow, might be a little bit more friction now. Fellow and, billionaire, right? Yes, yeah. fellow, fellow rich guy. And Tom Barrack uh, had been in consideration for chief of staff uh, back when Reince was chief of staff as a possible replacement and had visited the White House multiple times to meet with Trump and still communicate with Trump even when uh, Barrack wasn't visiting the White House. And whenever he visited the White House, he brought along this guy named Rick Gates. Oh. And uh, the reason <coughs> I wanted to write about him, as you mentioned several months ago, uh, back in early or mid-June, um, I wrote a sort of mini profile of him along with my Daily Beast colleague uh, Gideon Resnick, who's one of our reporters based in New York City. And um, it, uh, it documented sort of uh, what Rick Gates was doing now, his relationship with Trump world, the White House, the president himself. And one of the details we found uh, is that, um, and Rick Gates himself has a sketchy, I guess what you could call pro-Russia streak and lobbying streak, just as um, his a former boss and buddy Paul Manafort, of course, mm -hmm. did and does. Uh, so one of the things we found is that when Tom Barrack would visit the White House, he would bring along Rick Gates, and Rick Gates would hang out at the White House. And several White House officials confirmed that uh, to me and my colleague Gideon, but they went out of their way to say, oh, yeah, he's hanging around. He's maybe meeting with some uh, people who he sees in the hallway, but he never talks to the president, the president won't see Rick Gates. Well, and uh, Sarah, and if I can just interrupt you there for a second. Please because, go ahead. Because Sarah Huckabee Sanders yesterday tried to take that same line uh, at the briefing. I mean, uh, yesterday's briefing, you would think that they had never heard of Paul Manafort, Rick Gates, or George Papadopoulos. They, you know, but So here she is on Gates. I know that there was some initial contact uh, after the president was sworn in uh, with him at meetings here at the White House, but nothing uh, directly with the president. Yeah. Well, at least uh, the White House is now confirming on the record that he has been visiting the White House uh, ever since Trump was sworn in. I mean, it, it would help if they had White House visitor logs available to the public. That'd be nice. But obviously, mm -hmm. that's uh, yeah. it's not going to happen. <laughs> that's in the quaint. Trump era. Exactly. So um, but actually, uh um, that uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is probably telling the truth there because of how much the president hates Rick Gates. That's another thing we found in our reporting. Oh, uh, huh. um, huh. Paul Manafort, the president, uh, would like Paul to not be causing me in so much trouble. George P. President doesn't know who he is. Rick Gates, the president specifically disliked, and his resentment and distaste for Rick Gates during the campaign actually started out, as we found in um, our reporting at the Daily Beast, in a sort of darkly humorous instance of mistaken identity. He did not know who Rick Gates was for weeks 
when he was first working aboard uh, uh -huh. Trump's yeah. presidential campaign. He <laughs> thought whenever somebody would mention Rick, they were talking about Rick Wiley, I believe, who was, I think, Trump's national political director, who was sacked from the campaign not oh. long after he came oh. aboard. Yeah. And there was one instance that was recounted to me by a former senior uh, Trump campaign official who was with the president in a room, and suddenly Rick Gates walks in, and there, there's quite a few people in the room, uh, or in the area. And the president looks over and says, who the hell is that? <laughs> and it's Rick Gates. All right. um, He's a real details guy, you know. Like, yeah, 100%. Right. So uh, that's that, who this guy is, and that's yeah. where he figures in both politically and emotionally into Trump's orbit.